Greetings, vinyl community. I don't know what I was doing there. I was going to do this, and then it ended up being this, and then last second I thought I'd do the cat dance from Batman. Greetings. I hope everyone's doing well. This is a video um, like I've never done before because I just realized five minutes ago that I can film a video today. Uh, this week I started a new position at work. And so my start times are different. So, and I probably have said this before, but I need to film my videos with no one in the house. I can't film. It just feels weird. I'm, I'm, for those of you who can film with your wife or husband or whoever partner in the house, God bless you. I can't do that. I'm, I'm embarrassed. I talk a lot of crap on these videos. Anyways, um, five minutes ago, I just realized that I have time to film a video. So I always keep my vinyl in a pile that I'm going to use for my next video. So no problem there. Set up the camera. I got no clue what I'm going to talk about today other than showing vinyl. But one thing I do know, no coffee today, tears. It's a beautiful day outside. I need some sugar. I, my new hours are very early. So I need, a, I need a sugar rush to get to this video. Cheers, everyone. Anyways, um, what do I want to address first? Um, I, like I said, I, I didn't... Usually when I go into my videos, I have some kind of vague running order through through my mind of what I want to talk about. But like I said, I, I just decided to do this. Um, so this is all off the top of my head. But there is... Some drama in the vinyl community. Dun, 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 dun. And it's actually nothing to make to make light of, but um, some of you are aware of it in the comment section. Uh, don't ask me about it. If you know, you know, but a lot of people do know there's some drama going around. Um, in fact, um, I had thought someone had took a swipe at me on one of their videos, and it turns out they didn't. They explained to me that it wasn't a swipe. Um, but it doesn't involve me. This drama doesn't really involve me. Um, so anyways, uh, when when you do videos and you read things in comment sections, it's very hard to know co uh, context is the word I'm looking for. So sometimes the context doesn't really come through um, rather than someone being right next to you talking to you. So sometimes what feels like uh, someone's taking a swipe at you is, is just really a uh, a regular comment. So that's what, that's what I thought. But anyways, um, if you do know about this drama, um, I'm trying to think of what I, of what I could add to it. Having been a part of this, uh, vinyl community for quite a while on, on YouTube and Facebook and all that stuff. Um, I can see everyone's point. There's some, some inexcusable stuff that that's been going on. Um, you know, talking about personal lives of people, um, which is a definite no-no. Um, but if no harm was meant, no harm was meant. But still, um, you know, there was uh, some people being talked about in their personal lives and just people being dro name-dropped um, by by usually very um, nice people. And I still think they are. Uh, my view on the whole vinyl community is that I'm of an age now where I don't really have that piss and vinegar in me. To, um, to to call someone out unless it's very serious or uh, or just uh, in fact I was talking to a, a fellow YouTube um, maker maker of videos uh, who lives around me you you might know who this is I don't want to say his name because I didn't ask his permission to talk about him so that's why I don't do that unless I get permission but we both we were kind of both agreeing it's that's kind of like uh, you know. E L E, everybody love everybody. Um, just I I just ha I have a perspective of that. I just like everyone. Um, you know, if I don't like you, I'm not going to go out of my way to tell you about it. I just probably won't watch your videos. Um, there's very few instances of that happening. And if I really wanted to be a dick, I probably could mention some vinyl channels that I think <coughs> are uh, are are. Not that they're bad quality. I think there's just a lot of bad information being given. Cheers again. But I'm not going to call you out because ELE. Remember that? ELE. 
But having said that, some of the people that were talked about or people I'm friendly with on Facebook and we've talked privately in the um, via Facebook Messenger or wherever and or Instagram. See how modern I am? Instagram. One day I'll cancel my MySpace account. One day. Or Friendster. I'll cancel that account too one day. Or classmates.com. I'll, I'll cancel that account one day. <sighs> Anyways, uh, I, I feel bad when people are upset and they're fighting. And um, uh, I just, for anyone watching this video who was kind of wrapped up in this drama, I hope it's all over with. And um, I just hope everyone can just get along. Um, acknowledge when you were wrong. Acknowledge maybe when you took something the wrong way, etc., etc. I don't believe in this whole snowflake um, term that's going around the last few years that you know you just take things too personal. I don't really buy into that. If it hurts someone's feelings, I um, mean, who are you to speak about their feelings and how they should feel, and the level of uh, of of seriousness in which they take uh, an insult, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, or a perceived insult. Um, in my life, if I insult someone and I don't realize I have, you know what, that's my bad. You know, I should have maybe got to know them better um, as a person before I said something that's a little bit off, which I, I tend to do a lot uh, in my real life. Anyways, I know this is going on a bit long, but um, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about whenever drama pops up in the vinyl community. Um, uh, it's it's kind of it, it is uh, it is upsetting in the sense that I, I never want to see people fighting in the vinyl community because it is in relative terms in relative terms to YouTube videos it's a rather small community and uh, uh, I don't think we have the amounts of people to where we can have massive drama and uh, have it be easily recoverable there's always gonna be some bad feelings lingering and people taking sides and, and who really wants that shit so um, to the people involved in, in this drama uh, that you may or may not be aware of, um, um, I'm hesitant to mention names because I don't want to, I don't want to further any, but you know, a lot, a lot of people know who I'm talking about. And, um, I think that person who made the VC video, um, I, I'm trying to think of a, a way to, to phrase his name. I think he, he's not poor, but I think he might be rich. E. Anyways, I think he's a good person. And I think the girl who's kind of wrapped up in this is a very good person as well. And it's none of our business about people's personal lives. We're here for records, records alone. And uh, E.L.E., everybody, everyone love everyone, please. And that comes from an old man who's been in this vinyl community for a while. I'm not uh, claiming I started it, but I've been around for a while. So uh, I'm not sure if this served any purpose, but maybe if you ever think about calling someone out or saying some nasty thing on Facebook in the vinyl community, maybe you'll st stop and think twice. And then just ask yourself, is it really worth the, the fallout? And 99.9% .9 of the time it's not. So anyways, I, I love everyone. Peace to everyone. And uh, I just have love for everyone. It sounds corny and it sounds cliche, but I really do. If you're collecting records, then, you know, I, I, I have a certain love for your passion for vinyl. Ta-da! There is my soapbox speech. Thank you. Um, anyways, I got some insane... Like, Eric, I say this every week, and I'm not sure if people get really weirded out that I'm always using the same uh, catchphrases in my titles, like insane and incredible and amazing, but they are. Argue with me about that, please. You're wrong, in my opinion. This is Truly Amazing Finds this week. We're going into uh, Record Store Day, which I'll talk about kind of halfway through. Record Store Day here is in a couple days. Um, I'll have some kind of uh, words of wisdom, or just not words of wisdom, <laughs> from me. I'll have some commentary of uh, what I'm looking for, what I'm going to get. If I have to do elbows and fists, old school moshing, just to get what I want, because I'm that kind of guy. And uh, yeah, so let's get to this. I got some new vinyl to show you first. 
I got some insane vinyl I got off uh, an online ad. And today, today, during my lunch break, I went over to a thrift store and I found some insane thrift store vinyl. In fact, the stickers are still on it because I just got home from work. New vinyl. Um, Death. The Sound of Perseverance. Uh, I thought I had this, but I didn't. But all their vinyl is being reissued on colored vinyl. And I want to show you. Because a lot of people, are, I think I said this last year, some people are like, why are you not showing the vinyl? All their catalog has been re-released on colored vinyl. This one is uh, kind of red, black, yellow, white, something splatter. Really nice. And I don't have this album. So uh, I thought I thought my death collection was uh, free and clear last time I showed you a vinyl by death. But now it's it truly is. The Sound of Perseverance. Arguably their best album next to Human, possibly. I'm struggling to get... This is why I don't show you colored vinyl. Because you know what? It's a pain in the ass to get this on. And on camera when the pressure's on so death the sound of perseverance double vinyl awesome and then finally my dreams have come true i quickly like a lot of vinyl this is what i've been wanting to buy on ebay or discogs for so long but the prices are just kind of crappy and i just have you'll never find this at a thrift store i've never seen this at a brick and mortar store in my life but this week was re-released. That sounded weird. This week, this album was re-released for the first time since it first came out in a four-album collection. Anthrax, Persistence of Time. Um, I think it's my favorite uh, Anthrax album next to... Um, uh, what's that one? I'm, I'm brain farting. White Noise? Sound, the Sound of White Noise. Um, with a different vocalist. But anyways, this came out, I don't, I don't know if it came out in a regular standard one or two vinyl collection, but for some reason I uh, I ordered uh, the four vinyl collection, which is fine, but it's got the, the back half of the two albums are um, demos, which I don't like. I will never listen to pre-production demos. And that's what they're meant to be, is just demos. Some guy playing a riff in his bedroom. Well, who the fuck cares? Regardless of that, I had to get this for the actual album. And there's a couple bonus tracks, which are really good. Uh, there's a uh, the best ever version of I'm the Man on it. Um, some, li some live tracks. But anyways. Anthrax, Persistence of Time. Four LP collection. I, and, and you know, this might be colored vinyl too. It is. I think it's orange and black splatter vinyl or some kind of swirl. I don't know what, what you call it. And for those, oh, oh, shit, I'm dropping records too. And for those of you who are going to mention that I'm touching the vinyl, I'm touching the edge, and it's my vinyl. I paid for it. Anyways, kind of looks like Halloween, black and orange. But that's kind of cool. I'll place this out of the way because I drop it some more. Okay, here's some incredible stuff I got from a local seller on an online ad. Amazing, and I have some more stuff on hold. He's going to hold some stuff for me for next uh, my next payday. And these weren't these weren't even that expensive. Japanese vinyl with the obi strip of Ozzy Diary of a Madman, original Japanese pressing. Amazing! All the inserts are inside. Very excited about that. Um, where are the rest of them out of order? Kiss, Rock and Roll Over. This isn't an original pressing. This is kind of like uh, a few years on from the original pressing. So there's no um, inserts in here other than lyrics and some bios and whatnot. But uh, my favorite Kiss album, I think, other than the first album. Kiss, Rock and Roll Over. This is my first... No, this is my third Kiss album uh, from Japan with the uh, OBI or OB strip. Um, just exciting. Exciting. Uh, where's the other one? God, David, what the hell are you doing? Well, I'll show you this one. Uh, Tank, Honor and Blood. Uh, UK, um, it's very motorheadish. In fact, one of the members um, was in The Damned, Algie Ward, and they are closely tied with Motorhead. I think Fast Eddie Clark produced their um, um, their really big album, The Filth Hounds of Hade, Hades. 
But uh, this is the album after that, I believe, called Honor and Blood, Japan, original Japanese pressing as well. Um, very exciting, very exciting. And the, there's, there is another one. Oh, here we go. White Snake, Slide It In, original pressing. But this, you notice how thick it is? Because inside, and it's missing two of the, of the little bonus things, but there's a slide-out cardboard thing with a, a book that has photos and all the people that played on it, but it has two empty holes there, which originally contained a sticker up top and a necklace. But those are not those are not in the one I got. They were missing. So whoever bought this is probably they got a, a sticker on their car and they're wearing their white snake necklace right now. But slide it in. Uh, I actually have never had this on vinyl, and it's it's a damn good album. I just that's, that's all I'm going to talk about right now because I'm running long here. Slide it in by White Snake, original Japanese vinyl. All right, um, I think there is. You know, I'm gonna do. One, there's one more online. What I'm, what I'm gonna show you, but I got this for like super cheap online. Is um, I had this and then I traded it, and I think I've talked about this version on my uh, on my videos before. But I got a, I I re got this album. Is the original. Canadian pressing. I don't know why this is not in the paper sleeve. Sorry. That's embarrassing. The original Canadian pressing on the olive green label of the first Black Sabbath album. And I will tell you this right now. And if you Google, you will see on vinyl forms from Snooty Audio Files. I have an original vertical swirl of this. And I don't have the remastered version. But I'll tell you right now, this Canadian pressing is better than the original... Um, vertical swirl that I have. It's a highly regarded um, pressing of this album. So if you have a, a chance to get the olive green Canadian, see there's a Canadian thing, you know it's Canadian. The olive green label pressing of this album in good condition, I will tell you it's in the top tier of the best sounding Black Sabbath albums for the first album. It's gotta be It's gotta be in that top three. I played this and I just it's amazing and I'm never trading this one again until I trade it again. Um, one more Japanese album, Pulsar, Pollen, 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 Pollen. Uh, I'm a big fan of Pulsar. I believe they're French. And I've talked about their album, uh, The Strands of the Future, I believe it's called, the one before this one. And I got a an original London Records pressing of uh, Pulsar's, I think it's their final album they did. I think, I think they only did two albums. Uh, Pulsar, um pollen pulsar is very pink floydish at times uh it can be very ethereal it can be very ambient and then it kicks up a lot so um i'm very, i'm a big fan of uh of pulsar so i've got a japanese pressing of that as well um are we on to thrift store stuff one well, yeah we are this is this is no, no no hang on i got a japanese pressing too of orchestral maneuvers in the dark um, electricity, but this is cool because it's got my favorite two songs on one seven inch. It's got uh, electricity and messages. So it's a, kind of like a double A side Japanese copy. I was able to get that. Um, this I got um, from Mr. Dots and Loops Records. You all know him on YouTube, one hell of a nice guy. He had, uh, he was uh, selling off a couple items and I contacted him and said, I really want this one on your list. And it's a local Edmonton band that was signed to a national record uh, deal through Cotillion Records, which was Emerson, Lake and Palmer and things like that. But it's, uh, they were, this is their one and only album. It's a band called Troika. Um, I could go on describing this album for a long time, but it's, it's got some, uh, Ukrainian Polish influences but it's mostly um, it's kind of psychedelic in places it's progressive in places um, just a very very great album for, uh, and, they're, and they're from my city a very sought after album too but I got a nice upgrade copy of Troika thank you Mr. Dan Mr. Dots and Loops uh, if you don't if you don't watch them look them up Dots and Loops records um, always entertaining always cordial and he loves everyone. Cheers, everyone. We're almost done. 
Uh, thrift store finds. Can you believe I found quicksand? Slip at a thrift store. It's true. Um, this is the SRC vinyl, double vinyl. Is it double? Nope, single vinyl. Pressing of uh, this incredibly influential post-punk hardcore album. Post-punk sounds like magazine and Gang of Four. Post-hardcore. Post-hardcore, like uh, they were in the same league of uh, like a Fugazi. But uh, very different sounding. And, and if you kind of Google this album or this band there, this album in particular is a very, very influential album. Um, it's in like the top, I don't know, top three, top two of best, um, what they call, I guess, post-hardcore um, records ever. Very, very influential. And someone donated it. There you go. Quicksand, Slip. Um, I've only ever had this on cassette or CD. But I listened to it again for the first time when I got this. I brought it home, and I fell in love with it again. It's just amazing. And I think it's on colored vinyl, too. It is. Clear. Or as I called it last video, um, I'll call it this. Whale, whale sperm. Is there a term for cloudy clear? Whale sperm. It's sperm color. That's what we're going to call it. Um, thrift store finds from today. Uh, you have to apologize. I didn't have time to clean these up. I just got these uh, this afternoon, but the price tags are still on it, which is kind of embarrassing. But I got Devo. Are we not Devo? These were three ninety nine. Devo. Are we not men? Sorry, Devo. Are we not men? Uh, I'll talk about that one in a second. The Buzzcocks at a thrift store. First time ever. A different kind of tension for a whopping three ninety nine, which is about fifty cents American. And 25 pence UK. Different kind of tension. I've never had this on vinyl. Unbelievable. It's an original 1980 Liberty Records pressing. Unreal. There's, see? Craftwork, Mad Machine. This is the second time I've found this at a thrift store over 10, 15 years, whatever. Um, there's the price tag as well. I got some cleaning up to do up the back. Just some, um, gotta, you know, get Magic Eraser. And get the dirt off the back, but Kraftwerk Man Machine, and one more, uh, no, two more, a sealed copy, sealed, of Alfred Hitchcock's Music to be Murdered by, this has to be a re-release, because it has this sticker, Respect the Classics, which is on a lot of uh, oddly rap albums, uh, rap reissues, but uh, this is Alfred Hitchcock Presents Music to be Murdered by, and I have not opened it yet, it's sealed, at a thrift store, I think the original price tag, I took the original price tag off. Um, it was like $29.99 or twenty. I can't remember what it was. But uh, someone just bought it and donated it. God bless you if you did. Uh, um, I have to hear this album, so I'm going to have to open it. Because I want to hear what it's all about. That was an interesting thrift store find. And that's it. Not a lot. Quality. Those Japanese pressings. Woo. Oh, you know what? I got one more record. Sorry to show you. I just read an article about this yesterday, about uh, some of the most underrated albums of all time. Underrated or uh, classic albums that have been forgotten. And I was surprised that this was in this uh, magazine, music online uh, site. Very well-known site that I don't, I can't remember now. I can't believe this was on the list. It was Canadian Gino Vanelli, Brother to Brother. Another thrift store find today. Um, I I see this all the time. Thrift stores. There's there are probably a dime a dozen in Canada. <coughs> yeah, I've never heard this album. Excuse me. So, thrift store today, and like I said, this is I can't remember what site it was, but it's a site I always go to, so I must uh, value their opinion in some form or fashion. But uh, they say this is one of the uh, great underrated albums of the seventies. Mr. Hare, Gino Vanelli, who went all slick with Black Cars in the eighties, which I love that album. Anyways, I'm going to try this album and I'll, I'll report back. Another thing I'm going to talk about really quickly is I bought one of these and I'm going to do a video like my uh, acrylic platter video, which thank you for watching that. That one is has done very, very well. Um, I'm doing this. Oh yeah, you know what else I found? This, see, I'm scattered. I'm all over the place. Last minute video. I found Jeff Buckley's The Grace EPs on CD. Uh, five CD set for $2.99. It's all the EPs that were released from his album Grace. With a lot of live tracks and bonus tracks on it. How's that? 
Here's, here's what I'm going to do a video about uh, separately, like my acrylic platter. I decided to um, take the plunge. Yeah, cause I, the reason why this came about is I, I got a record I really love uh, last week that had a little bit of a lip warp. And lip warps are notoriously really hard to get out with vinyl presses or anything. Um, kind of like wobbly ones are kind of easier to fix. So I thought I would buy one of these just to see if it worked. And this is not, uh, this is a vinyl clamp. So here's the box you get it in. Very nice box, actually. There's some, you know, see this little black box? It comes in. There's some, uh, you know, packaging here. Take out. And here's a vinyl clamp. And, uh, and the purpose of a vinyl clamp is to uh, kind of flatten the vinyl, reduce the vibration. Um, and it's supposed to help uh, warped records, which I will report in the video I'm going to do. And then um, there's that, and there's also like vinyl weights. I can't remember the proper term for them now. There's, you know, vinyl weights, the heavy, heavy ones. And then there's these light vinyl clamps. I decided to go with this because I'm not too fond of uh, buying one of those heavy record weights. And I'm not too sure what it would do to the motor of the... Uh, see, there's the flip side. A lot of people like them. A lot of people think they're, they're going to cause undue wear and tear on your motor of your turntable. And that's the side I'm taking because I don't know any better right now. But I'm going to try out this vinyl clamp. Um, relatively inexpensive, like the acrylic platter. And I'm going to report back to you. My consumer uh, report on vinyl clamps just for you. Anyways, um, shorter than normal. Cheers, everyone. I hope it was. I didn't talk too fast, I hope. I think I did. Slow, slow the video down and I might sound human. Um, I guess I hope I didn't talk too fast. This was a last minute thing and I'm kind of liking doing the last minute thing. Because I, I will say anything. Cheers, everyone. Anyways, to everyone in the vinyl community, um, let's show love to everyone. If there's something you don't like, scroll on by. Um, just, it's not worth leaving comments. It's not worth liking or like thumbs up or thumbs down. It's not worth the thumbs down. You know, like, I don't know what, the, I don't know what that proves. It doesn't, doesn't bother me. Um, but it does for some people. Anyways, just love everyone. And if there's something you don't like, just fucking move on. Let's grow up. Come on. Love everyone. I'll, I'll, I'll come see you. If you don't, love. Look at, is that kind of love right there? Love. From Naz Nomad to you. This has been nice. This has been Naz. See, I'm going to end on, end on an angry note now. This is Naz Nomad. Or this is David Michael, a.k.a. Naz Nomad. Hope you enjoyed my video. We'll see you next time. Peace. Take care, everyone.